we're checking out the brand new 2024 Rushmore from FerrisC.com, which is based on the latest and greatest version of the Hobby Plus CR18P. Straight out of the box, you receive a small four channel transmitter, an instruction manual, a cross wrench, an ESC programming card, and a USB LiPo charger. Taking a quick look around the outside of the truck, this Lexan body was actually carried over from the old Hobby Plus CR18 and it has a few molded plastic accessories like the side mirrors, front grille, and light buckets. There are some cool looking plastic bumpers on the front and rear of this truck that seem like they'll be pretty durable. The rock sliders on the sides of the truck have a nice little channel built in to capture the body and keep everything solid. We also have some brand new tires that are much more aggressive and should provide quite a bit of traction. Underneath the body, Hobby Plus teamed up with Fear Attack to include a Lizard Light ESC paired with a Venom 3450 KV Outrunner motor. What's nice about this brushless combo, besides it being super smooth, is you can actually adjust a handful of ESC settings with the programming card that's included. There's a pretty standard one kilogram steering servo sitting on the front axle that seems Seems like it'll get the job done. Everything is plugged into a four channel FlySky receiver and powered by a 600 milliamp 2S LiPo battery. On all four corners of the truck, Hobby Plus stepped it up with some brand new oil filled big bore shocks that have red aluminum caps and adjustable preload collars. Now these shocks are a very nice improvement and should eliminate a lot of the bounce that the old shocks had. Throughout the rest of the truck, you'll find a lot of the usual CR18P components, such as the Metal Gear transmission and portal axles. However, Hobby Plus redesigned the rear axle and added some nice bracing up top to help reinforce it. The center drive shafts have also been beefed up a bit and they actually reversed the rotation of the rear drive shaft to try and reduce torque twist. Everything is sitting on a new aluminum chassis that has quite a bit of adjustability along with a five degree angled skid plate to help prevent hangups. This truck seems to have a lot of impressive features for the price. Let's take it out to do some crawling and see how it performs. I'm pretty impressed with the performance of this 2024 Rushmore. Compared to the CR18P Evo, this new CR18P seems to be even more capable. The FuraTech brushless system feels really good overall. You have a lot of low end control, yet you're still able to get decent wheel speed with it. Although hard bodies do look nice, I definitely prefer these lighter Lexan bodies for mini crawlers simply because of the handling. I'm also really liking the new tires. They were able to dig into the softer dirt and provide some good traction. Let me know what you guys think of this truck down in the comments and if you'll be picking one up for yourself like and subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one